Entschuldigung, Herr Tillich, dürfte ich Ihnen eine Frage stellen? Ähm, ich wollte Sie gerne fragen, was Danke. Sie bei der Bilderberg-Gruppe machen. Danke, was Sie, vielen Dank. Haben Sie, Danke, haben Sie dort eine Rede gehabt bei der Bilderberg-Gruppe? Ja. Treffen Sie sich mit dem Bilderberg-Meeting? Can you give us the agenda, the real agenda? Eine Frage. Was ist denn? Is it going to be bringing more migrants into Germany? Mr. Tillich, one question. One question, Sir, real quick. Why do you sell out our country to lobbyists that are paid without tax money? Rob Dew reporting for Infowars.com on location in Dresden, Germany. Just over here is the Grand Hotel Taschenberg Palais, where the 2016 Bilderberg meeting is taking place. Now, last night, uh, thanks to some tip from f some local reporter activists, uh, Max Bachmann and Tillman Knetchel, we were able to get the governor of Saxony on video saying some pretty incriminating stuff. Paul Joseph Watson is here now as well. Paul, come on in here. So what exactly uh, did uh, Mr. Tillich say? Stanislav Tillich is his name. He's the governor of Saxony. Well, this is huge because the mainstream media always says that Bilderberg is just a talking shop. No decisions are made. They have no influence whatsoever. What's big about this is that he admitted that he came here to attract investment into the city of Dresden. That's the very definition of lobbying. We, we say over and over again, this is a lobbying organization. You've got corporations, you've got heads of government, you've got politicians scheming for lobbying purposes. And in many countries, that's illegal. And he brazenly admitted it. He also said he's going to be sitting, you know, 100 feet away from the top senior members of Bilderberg and that he, you know, hopes he will get a chance to talk to them. Again, showing that there are tears within Bilderberg. Some people don't really know what it's about there. You know, they're delighted to be invited to it, whereas the upper echelons know exactly what they're doing. They're the ones planning the future of the world. But for him to admit that he was there for lobbying purposes is huge. And it remains to be seen if he'll be invited to the conference tonight. So, Paul, he's essentially sitting at the kids' table at Bilderberg uh, looking for table scraps. Anything that the elites might throw down to him, he could grab up for the city of Dresden. Uh, is that essentially what's going on? Yeah, that's what's going on. And some of these people are also groomed. We've seen people rise up through the ranks. You know, Tony Blair came in 94. He became the uh, leader of the Labour Party a couple of years after that, then went on to become prime minister. So they can start as underlings bowing and genuflecting to the Bilderberg elitists, the likes of Kissinger, you know, De Castries, the executive level members, and they rise up through the ranks. I don't think he'll be rising up through the ranks because he committed the cardinal sin, which was to talk about Bilderberg, and that is completely off limits. So he's going to be in trouble. Right, and uh, another governor from Arkansas also came to the Bilderberg meeting, I believe, in 90 or 91, and then became president of the United States. That was uh, Arkansas Governor Bill Clinton. And now one thing I want to give a, a shout out to the local uh, reporter, activist reporters who helped us get this, that was Max Bachman, who basically with his schoolboy charm was able to get Mr. Tillich on camera inside a church just around the corner from here talking about all this, basically getting him to spill his guts, uh, admitting the information we've already known, but it's always great to have one of these members actually just lay it all out for us, so it makes our job a lot easier as far as I'm concerned. And we've got more leaks coming soon. This article is up on Infowars.com. We've got the article about the economic collapse that they're planning, which is up on Infowars.com, and more leaks to come today. So stay tuned. That's right. We're really interested in the role of Lin Lindsey Graham. This, I believe, is his first trip to the Bilderberg meeting. He's a sitting U.S. Senator. In violation of the Logan Act, he's going to be coming here. We don't know what he's going to be talking about, but we can imagine, and I think I have a, a hunch, that he is going to be trying to thwart a Trump presidency, maybe getting together with Vernon Jordan and James A. Johnson, both who run uh, high-end capital uh, lobbying groups, capital firms firms that basically are investment banks that uh, are democratically run. So I think they're going to be looking at ways to channel this money into a Hillary Clinton campaign to basically thwart a Trump presidency. So with that, we're going to sign off for now. This is Rob Dew and Paul Joseph Watson reporting from Justin Dermony for Infowars.com. Brain forces here. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been on this the last few months. You probably noticed I've been more crazed, more focused less brain fog, more energy, more special reports, and it's because of brain force. One of the worst things with most energy products is it's not sustainable, right? You're gonna crash, you're gonna feel really bad afterwards. This has a bunch of different antioxidants and compounds and polyphenols. Everybody's on these drugs to knock their brain out because the brain's so fried. We kept changing this formula over and over and over again until it became sort of a grand puzzle. For example, the L-theanine inside of it, that is activated by the different compounds in the yerba mate that we put inside of it as well. This just increases the compounds you already have. This is what you're actually designed to run on. Exactly. It's kind of like a car will run on one form of junkie gas, but it runs really good on what it's designed for. You will find Brain Force, Survival Shield X2, and other game-changing products at InfoWarsLife.com or call 888-253-3139.
Entschuldigung, Herr Tillich, dürfte ich Ihnen eine Frage stellen? Ich wollte Sie gerne fragen, was Sie bei der Bilderberg-Gruppe machen. Danke, ich was Sie, vielen Dank. Haben Sie, Danke, haben Sie dort eine Rede gehabt bei der Bilderberg-Gruppe? Ja. Treffen Sie sich What mit dem Bilderberg-Meeting. Can you, give us the, can you give us the agenda, the real agenda? Eine Frage. Was ist denn? Is it going to be bringing more migrants into Germany? Mr. Tillich, one question. One question, 